Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to share one of the real-time production issues, what we faced in Pega project and how we analyzed it and found the root cause and implemented a permanent fix is what we'll see. And these type of issues are very common in the real projects and knowing how to handle them helps us in both interviews as well as on job situations. Let's look into that issue. And the scenario here is we had a production issue where users were unable to submit a case. The screen was getting stuck with this loading or the spinner icon. And this started happening only after our recent deployment. And for this, we are supposed to take our initial analysis, right? As part of initial analysis, we found or we checked Pega logs. That is Pega rule logs and alert logs for the specified time where the issue occurred. And there we observed a null pointer exception in a data page in one of our activities. Okay, and after further analyzing the data page. So there we observe data page is having integration service as the source. And that service is failing now because of some input parameters in production. Where this issue we did not observe in the lower environments. And the failure here is due to the missing authentication token logic from the service provider end. And hence the issue is, and the service is failing because of the token expiry. So finally, as part of our initial analysis, we identified what exactly the root cause is. And now we are supposed to fix it, right? We implemented a fix by adding the token renewal logic in the authentication profile. And then we even handled service exceptions also in the same activity. And along with that, we added error handling in data pages to display a proper user-friendly message instead of showing that boring blank screen. So we added some extra exceptional handlings in both activities as well as data pages. And after the issue is fixed, we are supposed to validate, right? And we deployed this to testing team and verified all our use cases. And once validation, we moved it to production in the next deployment cycle. And this issue was successfully resolved and users were able to submit all the cases. And finally, the takeaway or key learnings from this issue is, we are first supposed to add proper exceptional handlings in integrations, that is first thing. And we are supposed to use tracer or log analysis to identify the root cause quickly. And we are supposed to validate integrations thoroughly during UAT phase or some lower environment phases itself. So which might not impact in the production environment. Okay. And this is like the real time production issue what we handled in recent past. And if you found this like helpful for you, don't forget to like, comment your experiences and subscribe for subscribe for more real time PEG examples. And I'll be sharing you more examples in our coming videos also. Thank you. Thank you everyone.